<clears throat> uh, hey guys, this is Super Steve again. Uh, reaction to My Little Pony, French Miss Magic, Season 7, Episode... Uh, season 8, Episode 4. Uh, um, fake it till you make it. I saw this Fluttershy in, in Manhattan wearing some outfit. I assume trying to be famous. Uh, I don't know. Don't know the entire how it's going to go. And I did see Rarity as well, but oh well. I still want to watch this, see how it goes. So I'll start it momentarily. Just one moment while I close my door so I don't, I don't get over, over sounds. <clears throat> <sighs> okay, start up, see how it goes. <laughs> and Fluttershy is one of my favorite characters, so. Probably my favorite character, honestly. As usual. There's nothing so peaceful as a cuddly friend's picnic. Oh, she's in the, uh... What? Oh, goodness, Rarity. What's the matter? Oh, the better question would be, what isn't the matter? Oh, dear. Do you want to have some lettuce and talk about it? <laughs> oh, I would love to, darling, but I just don't have time. The Cantalot Royal Fashion Show is practically upon us. Okay. Oh boy. Oh man. Yes, well, I don't need help making clothes. Sassy Saddles is pitching in. Plus, I'll be pulling all three of my Manhattan assistants. All three? Man. Does that mean we'll have to close Rarity for you? That's just it, darling. This is Manhattan's busiest shopping season. And I can't just close the shop. So I was hoping you might consider running it. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. My calendar's packed, but I hear Fluttershy's free, and you haven't asked Boulder. Uh, uh... <laughs> it doesn't matter who else I asked, because I couldn't be happier that you agreed to help. Okay. Alrighty then, well... Fluttershy running in the shop, that explains the outfits and stuff, but I still don't know how this is going to go wrong or what the outcome's going to be. And I want to hear this intro, but I don't want to copyright block. <laughs> I have no idea what it sounds like yet. I forgot to look at it. I just went to the next episode real quick because I wanted to be current. So, alrighty. I guess, uh, see how this episode goes. Seems okay so far. Seems plausible too, so hey. I think I forgot how big this shop was. How do you find anything? Oh, darling, it's easy to track. The store is divided into sections. Chic, classic, modern, sophisticated, avant-garde, traditional, and obtuse. I don't know any of that. <laughs> I was like, close. And, As long as the price. Rarity for you. 
What can I help you with? I need something classic but modern, something with drama but also understated. I have no clue. Aren't all those things opposites? Yes, so? But how can I... I'm sorry, are you asking me how to do your job? No, but I just, um, if I may, I'm thinking noir-esque minimalist, but with a twist, perhaps a tapered hem. It's like you read my mind. Are you a fashion psychic? Say yes. <laughs> oh boy. Seriously. Fluttershy is not gonna do good with this, honestly. <laughs> you make it look so easy. Oh darling, come now. You've conquered your shyness a thousand times over. You can't let a few it, fashion ponies undo all that progress. I guess not. This it, it, must access your inner strength and allow it to shine through. It's not about shine. It's not about confidence, it's about knowledge, too. Think of it as a costume for your role as shop pony. You know what they say, clothes make the pony. Um, who says that? You know, them. All right, I'm sure you and your furry friends will do just fine. Ta -ta! <sighs> I hope she's right. Oh boy. What's the thread count of this shirt? I can't be seen in anything less than a thousand. Um, thread count? Um, well, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, excuse me for just one second. No. Oh, I'm afraid I don't know enough about fashion to satisfy these customers. What am I gonna do? Whatever's best. Ta -ta. <sighs> Smokey Junior, I can't believe it worked. Okay. I suppose clothes really do make the pony after all. Okay. Um, stuff. I don't know what to think. Shopping plant, and if even 
one shell pony isn't up to my standards? Well, I shall make my displeasure quite plain. Oh, you are wicked. <laughs> can't have a fashion show or no. I simply can't leave Fluttershy to fend for herself with these main headlights. Ready? Oh, darling, I'm afraid I can't stop. Potential emergency at the boutique. Well, whatever it is, I'm quite certain the pony you left in charge can handle it. Oh, she's simply divine. Oh, well, I always knew Fluttershy had it in her. <laughs> and there's still time to catch the train to Catalan. It's a unique play on the old standard. We call it a rarity cup with a triple cross stitch hem and a guacamole chevre pattern fabric. Don't you mean chevron? If I had meant chevron, then that's what I would have said. <laughs> of course. It's so unique, so in vogue. It must be mine. Oh, man. Duh. I think it's going to come back to bite her somehow. But I feel like I should push the snootiness further. Oh, man. Goodness sake. If you really want to help, I suppose serving tea would be nice. This is weird of Fluttershy to do. I don't know what to think. I like my accessories bold and shiny, and I'm just not seeing anything nearly bold and shiny enough. I'm afraid bold and shiny won't work with your whole model. Perhaps pointy. Pointy? Yes! I must have pointy! Pony can pull off a found object, but you nearly get there. <laughs> so I need, weird. Like, a red carpet glitz and glamour gown that's also casual, but like still artsy and a total head turner. This is yes, casual chic prêt à porter. Blanchet this season. Uh, like I don't understand any of that. So like. I don't care about it. Um, one moment, please. Oh, I think I need a new character. Okay, I've got like this high key savage look for you. It's a totally live ensemble with the little like thingies that sparkle and make the whole sparkle glow. <laughs> I kind of like the look actually. Although, exactly not so much on the back side. This store is a desperate wasteland of nothingness. Do you have anything in black? Can you, like, chill for one sec? BRB. It's not like the futility of shopping can be made better with black leather and metal studs. But they help. Uh... That jacket completes me. <laughs> Who in the what? Tea's from? like lukewarm, it's barely drinkable. This tea must always be at a precise temperature. See that it doesn't happen again. Whoa, that color is like almost too lit for you. The blackness of this vest is a reflection of your soul. This hemline is nothing short of an inspiration of crafts ponyship. Are you sure you deserve it? This is, this is screwy. That's going too far. That's going way too far. Fluttershy is running her shop in Manhattan, 
But to do it, she's playing different shop pony characters that are all mean. How in the world did you figure that out, Spike? I'm not a Dragon Charade champion for nothing. I can't imagine Fluttershy would ever hey. be mean to her animal <laughs> friends. This sounds serious. Spike, tell everyone it's time to head back to Saddle Row. I wouldn't think it was possible to make something so dowdy, even more matronly, but we you did, are. We're this going too far. Empty and ultimately meaningless. I would seriously help you right now, but like, I don't want to, you know? Uh, seriously, Flush? What, what are you doing? Eh. Gabba. This is worse than we thought. She's being horrible to every pony. Uh, are you sure that she even Fluttershy? Maybe it's just three really, really fast ponies that really, really look like her. Well, let's find out. Hey, Fluttershy, are you running the shop or performing in a one pony show? If you don't mind, I can only improve the taste of one customer at a time. You have to wait your turn. Oh. Honestly, these small town ponies come to the big city and think they can behave any way they please. What? You are a small town pony, and your cottage isn't even in the town. Look, what Look is Mother, she... we came here because we were worried and we care about you. Let's get out of this aura of positivity before it consumes us. And oh. Fluttershy's switcheroo game is, Smokey, Smokey Jr. and Soft Pat are really concerned. Yeah, they came all the way to Ponyville to get us. I think Fluttershy's being... They should have, like, stayed there. This shop is like a no rodent zone now. This, this... She this, called them rodents? Fluttershy, this I understand why you feel like... have to act this way for these customers. But there's got to be a better way. Goodness, you are so right. Please, step this way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. Indeed. Okay, Fluttershy is like not even being herself at all. This is just being, this is really strange. Oh, this centerpiece of my collection and it's still not right. I'm afraid we've literally run out of time. It's up to you. Go out there and sell it. Now listen, Photoshop. That's weird. I don't understand. When I left Fluttershy, she had everything well in hope. Well, things might have seemed <laughs> all right when you left, but they're definitely not all right now. She's acting worse yeah. than the worst main hat night I ever saw. She kicked us out of the shop. I guess it kind of makes sense that she would go too far considering she was overconfident after after what's his name iron will this is just a little strange Shy, seriously. Oh, was bad. Bad? This is worse than I could have possibly imagined. Rarity, I'm so glad you're here. Finally, a pony who understands that the couture in this shop is far too brilliant to even consider selling. What? You like to totally get how lame customers are? Watching them leave filled me with a sweet sadness. And you'll be pleased to hear that I'm taking care of your rodent situation. Will somebody tell her to stop saying it? That's it! Fluttershy, I'm afraid you've left me no choice. You are terminated! Well, good luck replacing me! Oh. Well, thankfully I... <laughs> I always thought she was too controlling. You, you, you are terminated too! Whatever. Now I... <laughs> I know, right? I mean, 
<laughs> what a bunch of garbage. Actually, you're like totally terminated as well. Like, okay. <sighs> well, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> I guess I owe every pony an apology. What? <laughs> you think? This is weird. You're caught up trying to please all of your customers. What customers? You might have taken my sales pony characters a little too far. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say I'm sorry so. I heard your feelings. You know I was only pretending, right? Pretending, pretending a little too hard. Why did you think you needed to be some pony else to run the shop? <clears throat> I guess acting like the ponies of Saddle Row gave me the confidence to interact with them. Darling, I'd never trust some horrible Saddle Row pony to run my shop. That's why I wanted a friend to do it. Well, I'd definitely rather be myself anyway. Even if I don't exactly have what it takes to be a shop pony. I wouldn't sell yourself short. Those sales pony characters all came from you. Yeah, I think you totally have what it takes. Maybe a little too much. Indeed, you have all the inner strength you need, but I think we prefer it coming from our sweet, regular Fluttershy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just giving me the inspiration I'm looking for. This is a weird episode. Last one? There! The missing piece for my new collection! The Warrior of Inner Strength! Oh, it's lovely, Rarity! I'm just sorry you had to leave the Canterlot Royal Fashion Show early. Oh, darling, making the perfect dress is scads more satisfying than showing it off! Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, striking dress, Rarity. I certainly hope you aren't trying to undercut the royal fashion show by ducking out and debuting it here. What? No. And have you considered the possibility that the royal fashion show is trying to undercut rarities by continuing on in Canterlot and not moving the whole affair here? Have you? I, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Oh. <laughs> Inner strength. <laughs> Stuff. I don't know. It, it kind of feels like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken or something. But it sort of feels like that one episode where Spike was completely out of character, helping Applejack way too much. And Fluttershy just seemed completely out of character. Like, she... I mean, I, I kind of get that she's acting way too much. And that kind of makes sense. But when your friends are right in front of your face, I mean... Hello? That, 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 it, it, I mean, I guess as far as her character goes, she's been, she's gotten stronger, so I suppose her acting would be a bit stronger. But you think she would be a bit more mature than than, than to go that far and stay in character when her friends are right there in front of her. It it just seemed a bit fake at that at that moment. But then again, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. Hmm. Not a bad episode, just a little bit strange. But a, re a reasonable situation, though. Overall. Hmm. Don't... Um... Don't, uh, be mean, regardless of who you're... What kind of character you're trying to be, or whatever, I don't know. Anyway. Alright, I guess until next episode, which won't come out for three more days, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. This seems so fake. <laughs>